And in the health sector, scientists say the stockpile of vaccines used for smallpox, which was eradicated in Kenya in the year 1978, is currently in use for mpox in countries that have reported active cases. The last case of smallpox was reported in Mandera in 1977, something that has raised concern on whether the vaccines are still available. And as Emily Chebet reports, scientists have played down fears among the larger population that did not get the smallpox vaccine, saying the stockpile of the vaccines will go a long way in saving the situation within the African countries. Mpox virus that is endemic in Central Africa and is now spreading outside the Democratic Republic of Congo has caused fears after reports of mutation. The more transmissible variant has been reported outside Africa and Sweden for the first time, but scientists are saying the virus can be contained easily using vaccines and antivirals. Currently there are like two vaccines. The MVA, which was a vaccine that was used some time back for eradication of or small smallpox. And then there's one they are calling CL, I think 16. And these vaccines can actually be used as pre-exposure, meaning for prevention, or a post-exposure for those who believe have been exposed. There have been questions on the use of smallpox vaccines, which were last utilized in 1970s, the concerns being its availability in Kenya. The vaccines, I think, some are available in DRC Congo, because in DRC Congo, uh, Mpox has been endemic for a prolonged period of time. But I think now that it has been declared a, pu of a, a public health uh, emergency, there are actually ongoing conditions to make these vaccines available. According to Professor Anzala, the case reported in Kenya was cleared 1B, which is an indication of a virus that is changing in nature. There are two variants of Mpox, clade 1 and 2, but with the signs of mutation, scientists say there is need to do a molecular test in order to understand the clade that is circulating in each African country. Where we see it, it is to monitor and maybe screen and ensure that those who are uh, infected are found pretty early and then isolated till they are healed. And the second thing is also to monitor the variants because you want to be able to, sh you want to be sure that whatever variant is circulating can actually be matched to the vaccines available. The Ministry of Health has published information on the country's status a day after Mpox was declared public health emergency. A statement by Health Cabinet Secretary Dr. Deborah Barasa includes information on the symptoms, preventive measures and response to the disease. This comes a day after Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, announced plans to establish a global stockpile of Mpox vaccines similar to its existing supplies for cholera, Ebola, meningitis and yellow fever vaccines. Mpox is, to, is not new. Yes. Okay? Mpox has been endemic. The sequence of Mpox is known. The immune response to Mpox is, is known, isn't it? And also, since we eradicated smallpox, which is a very close cousin <laughs> of Mpox, isn't it? Then really information to make that vaccine specific for Mpox will not be an issue. As Mpox continues to spread outside the DRC Congo, experts have said there is no cause for alarm, adding that manufacturing vaccines for Mpox will not take too long because it is from the same family with smallpox that was eradicated long time ago in the country. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV, 